So greetings from Pennsylvania once again on a bit of a drizzly, slightly dreary day. They, this is a Monday morning. This is September 12th. So a good day to do another episode of the Union Canal. So today we're going to do the section that goes through Lebanon City. In the last video we did, you know, we kind of reached what we call summit level, the highest point of the canal between the Schuylkill and the Susquehanna Rivers. And we kind of said goodbye to Topahawken Creek as well. Maybe that was the previous episode. And a lot of those locks we couldn't see, you know, locks three, two, and one were kind of in that quarry, um, that limestone quarry. And then we got to the Walmart there where there's possibly a section of the canal. Well, I'm not sure about that, like I said. But now we're going to drive through the city proper of Lebanon. And I'll be using my dash cam for most of the video just to drive along. And there's nothing, as far as I know, there's absolutely nothing left of the canal in Lebanon City. Probably as soon as the canal was abandoned, they started filling it in and building on top of it. We might stop at a few places, actually. We'll see. I do have one book that has a picture of a spot in Lebanon at 8th and Maple and shows the canal, what it looked like in that area. So if I can find parking there, we might stop. Um, and then we'll, uh, we will end this video at the Union Canal Tunnel Park. Of course, the next video will be the tunnel. So we're going to hop in the Jeep, hop in Naomi. She's ready to go for a drive today. And then we'll, we'll drive along with me. Like I said, we might stop at a few places. And we'll try to, I'm going to try to follow the route as much as possible as what the canal took. It's a little bit difficult. Um, we will be following uh, Canal Street initially. We'll, I'm going to start this video at Canal in Lincoln. I'll put a map up in a moment here, show you where I'm going to start at if you want to follow along on Google Maps. And like I said, we'll make our way to the Union Canal Tunnel Park, following as best we can the route of the former canal. So let's, let's get going. All right, so we are currently on Lincoln Street, and we're looking for Canal Street. There's Guilford. I believe it's the one, one of these up here. So the canal would have come across like right here, somewhere. I think it's right up here. Yeah, right up here is Canal Street. So I think Canal Street runs just a little bit north of where, where, the, of where the canal crosses Lincoln Street. But as we go down Canal Street, we're roughly following the route of the canal. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing left of the canal through here. Probably ran more slightly off to our left. But this is what it looks like today. Of course, obviously, it would, look, would have looked a lot different back then. To be honest, I don't know that I've ever drone or drove on Canal Street. This part, of, there, there's this part of Canal Street at least. There's like off to our east. There's more sections of Canal Street that don't actually don't actually follow the canal. Yeah, and just up ahead is Seventh Street. So we're gonna have to Canal Street kind of stops here. We're gonna have to turn up and head up towards Maple Street. Canal kind of actually turn up towards the north here a little bit. You know, like I said, we're not going to see any remains of the canal through here, as you can tell. So this should be Seventh Street. The up ahead here is Maple Street. So the canal would just gone off to our right here. How could we get a green light? I'm going to try and find a place to pull over up here at Maple and 8th Street, which is just ahead here. If we can find a spot, because there's a picture in this book I have that shows what it looked like in this area back then. Uh, let's see how this works out here. I think we could come into here. I guess it's safe to be in here. Yeah, so welcome to downtown Lebanon. <laughs> so right here is 8th Street, and that's Maple Street, and the canal just kind of ran just to our south here. Then when that car came in, probably right, right down through here, actually. And there's a map, well, not a map, but there's a picture in this book 
This is the uh, the two canals in Lebanon County. They have a picture on the back. The Union Canal at 8th and Maple Streets. Right there is the canal right there. You mentioned like a little drawbridge right here. So somewhere, I don't see this building anywhere down there. I don't think it's, definitely don't think it's that building. But yeah, that's what, looking down that way, what it looked like back then probably. Or perhaps, or perhaps this is looking up this way. Maybe this is, I maybe have the wrong view, but I don't really see this building anywhere. Even up this way, so this is probably not here anymore. And then just, just over that way is a place called Brant's Mill. And back in that way was a was a basin area where the canal flowed and kind of enlarged. It was an area where boats could like be stored like over winter and stuff. It was like a larger like pond like area for the canal. There's one last look at that. All right. See once again the canal probably would have came just through there somewhere down there in that little low area. All right, let's get going again. So we are on Maple Street now. And I think somewhere around here, someone told me there's a house where the brickwork came from one of the canals. I mean, from one of the canal locks. But I'm not sure where that is. And then we're looking at one of the old maps, somewhere off to our right along Maple Street was something called the Union Canal Hotel. I doubt there's anything left of that. Didn't see anything in my research. All right, so we, at this point, we're not really following the route of the canal exactly anymore. It's a little bit more off to our left, down at the bottom of that kind of that hill there. But we're still paralleling it somewhat. All right, I gotta find 12th Street. Yeah, now we're kind of veering away from it though. Oh, just in this area is uh, Lights Fort dating back to the uh, French and Indian War era. I know I filmed there several times. She's just down there. Man, we won't stop there today. Okay, up here's 12th Street. And we're gonna turn left up here. Or not at the moment. Okay, we're on 12th Street. Now we're gonna turn here on Old Forge Road. And the canal came right through this area. I think it's actually went through on our right here. There's a lot more development going on here. I, think I might find a place to pull over up here somewhere. Oh, that's right, there's a school up here now too. Yeah, I think this school, this elementary school is right on top of the canal, I think, if I remember correctly. Look at the maps, roughly. It's called Old Forge Road because there was a iron furnace up that way too, the Northern Lebanon Iron Furnace. And that furnace was built there because of the canal being right here. Because I could have that wrong. Maybe the canal is more on our left. It's really hard to tell these days. So much has changed. And if you can tell off to our left, it's just kind of wasteland right now. I'm going to pull over right here. Yeah, so back behind me is a school. So I'm not sure if the canal ran, really not entirely sure if it ran on the right side or over here on the left side, which is all overgrown. I know there's a road up there called Towpath Road. It's hard to say. Of course, you know. The land rises up behind me over here, but that's all man-made, more in recent times. This area's been changed so much. It is looking back behind us, so... Like, that area is all over there, it's just like abandoned industrial areas. Maybe it ran through there, maybe it ran... I got the feeling it looked into maps that more ran more on the north side of the road here. But you gotta imagine, this has all been changed, though. All newer development. Alright, let's get back in the Jeep. Yeah, I wish I could be more specific for you as to where it was, but... Even a lot, of the, like, a lot of the experts themselves don't even know exactly where it ran through some of these areas. There's just really nothing left. Just the way it is. All right, I gotta find a... I forget where I am now. Looking for 16th Street, but I think I might have passed it back there. So now we're kind of heading away from the canal again. We gotta head, we gotta dip south. There's no roads that follow going through that area over there. 
I think this is work. This is Lehman Street right here. Yep, this is what we need. All right, we're heading west on Lehman. And way off to our right is where the canal would have ran. But like I said, we had to dip a little bit of ways from it, south. But we're going to head up here on uh, 22nd Street, which will take us back up to where the canal was. I think there's like a heavy equipment company up here. Yeah, I see it up there. That's nice 20th Street. Twenty first Street. Here we go, twenty second Street. Yeah, you can see you start to see some of the heavy equipment up here. The canal ran right through this site. Just up ahead, somewhere through here, actually. I think a little bit further up this way more. Oh yeah, here's Union Canal Drive. Let me pull over right here, actually. So right here is Union Canal Drive. This is 22nd Street. And Union Canal Drive takes you to the Tunnel Park. So the canal went right through this area right here somewhere. And then it probably came across right where some of these bulldozers are. Because once you get it, you gotta remember the train has been changed a little bit. But yeah. Maybe even off over that way it came through. All right, but we're gonna head off this way to the park. Remember the canal kind of ran through this way. There's a little low area right there, maybe it went right through there. Alright, let's get back in Jeep. Alright, let's get back on the road. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to park here. And once again, I, you know, I apologize. You know, it's difficult to know exactly where the canal ran. It, 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 so much has changed. The landscape is just not what it used to be. You see little dips and hills, but that's, a lot of that's all artificial these days. Everything's, like I said, it's just changed so much. So roughly through here is where the canal went, Union Canal Drive. And just up ahead is the Union Canal Tunnel Park. You kind of wonder, like, if you look off just to your left there, I wonder if that was the towpath trail. And this road is actually where the canal was. They just filled it all in. I don't know. It's hard to know. And just ahead is the blue sign for the Union Canal Tunnel Park. We'll take a glimpse of the canal here in the park. You might be able to see it just off to your right on the camera there, yeah. That's the canal right there. Here it starts up. All right, so up that way is Union Canal Drive. We just drove in from there. And here is the Union Canal Tunnel Park. So I'll give you a quick glimpse of the canal. I'm going to do this section just a bit, I think. But here, you see over the stone wall here, here is the canal. Beautiful section of it through here. There you go, there's our friend. And just up around the bend is the tunnel. We'll talk about that in a bit. You can see one of the boats they use right there. So that will be it for this episode of Following the Union Canal. And to be honest, it might be one of my least favorite episodes of Following this Canal because we didn't really get to see a whole lot until the very end here. You were just kind of driving through downtown Lebanon. You know, driving through a city is never really all that fun, at least in my opinion. But it's part of the section of the canal. We're trying to follow it as much as possible, so we had to do that section. Going. And there was no, no locks or anything like that section. Like I mentioned, it's the summit level, so nothing much there actually and John my friend John just called me and there is in fact I mentioned I think I mentioned a building along Maple Street Maple Street where there is some stonework that was used from some of the locks further away I think close to Myerstown um, I might include that picture in here in a moment or not we'll see but anyway 
I'm going to say farewell for now, and hopefully we'll see you on the next episode, which we're probably going to film next. <laughs>